in several salons grilled ABS-CBN for the supposed biased reporting. However, some senators say politicians are not one to meddle with the media's editorial content. Manlas Baños has the full story. When it comes to so-called biased and unfair news reports, Senator Nancy Binay says she and her family have had their fair share. She recalled the left and right Senate investigations into her father and former Vice President Jeju Marbinay back in 2015. The lawmaker also remembered frequenting headlines when she first ran for senator in 2013. But these, says Binay, should not be a factor in deciding ABS-CBN's fate. ABS was not fair to us. Um, it, for me, that is a fact. And... Pero, yun na nga eh, dapat hindi yun kasama dun sa issue ng, ng pag-renew ng franchise ng ABS. Kasi di ba, parang that's between me and ABS. Huwag natin idama yung buong bayan. Binay recalled seeking help from the network's ombudsman to raise their complaints. But as politicians, she says, they should not be onion-skinned. In the lower house, several lawmakers cried foul over ABS-CBN's alleged biased reporting. Asked if Solans at some point abused hearings to forward personal issues, the senator had this to say. Coming from uh, 25 hearings, <laughs> para minsan, di ba? Minsan may pagkakataan. Na, na nga dun sa parang ganong perception na nagkakaroon ng abuse of authority. Senate President Soto believes the best way to deal with supposed hurtful news reports is to face them head on. Harapin nila. Harapin nila. Kung hindi naman totoo yung sinasabi, hindi eh, dalapas at dalapas eh. Ang katotohanan. The truth is very difficult to hide. For Soto, the government should not in any way meddle with the media's editorial content. Na hindi lang sa news organizations nakikialam, hindi dapat nakikialam ko pero. Government should be out of business. Yes. Government should not meddle with business. Kung may mga pagka, may mga pagkakamali, o may mga violations, okay, punahin mo. Ano? Pero that's different from pakikialam. Pala spokesman Harry Roque earlier insisted that President Duterte remains neutral on ABS-CBN's franchise issue. He then called on Solons to decide based on their conscience. The lower house is expected to finally vote on ABS-CBN's franchise at the committee level on Thursday. For News 5, Me and Los Baños, we are One News.